what's up this is Phil here for Nexus Gaming and today it is series 2 episode 1 of my new forge in uh, this series I'll be showing you how to make a UNSC or just a random abandoned space base here today I'll just show you how basically sort of my complex of how I'd make things and in the space base there'll be a big command center areas for weapons long corridors with computers in them and like air, I use the airlock doors as well because they make a good feel that it's suddenly been abandoned and also I wanted the touch where you'd have gravity inside but then you'd have zero gravity outside so what I did further on in the next few videos of the series there's a big you see a big long corridor at the front that I build in a couple of minutes and that I did the uh, special I, I, don't, I can't remember what they're called I think they're called areas that you can put down but you can change sort of the physics in those areas to make your player go fast, players go slow, you know, if weapons work and and so on. And the one that I chose was gravity. So obviously when you're inside this station, it's fine, you know, you can walk, you don't jump epically high, it's just normal gravity. But then I thought, let's have it like a real space base. So what I did, I had a door, one of those open doors that you can put in that I'll show you in a minute. And next to it, I put the, um, the the area in Forge. And it's odd, it comes up with a little sort of hammer and screw thing, which you can't actually make disappear. So I had to kind of hide that in the rock under the map. And then I basically made it as big as I wanted it to be. So as soon as you went through into this long corridor to the outside, you know, you'd be, um, you'd be in zero gravity. And that right there is one of the doors that I used. It's not really a door as such, it just looks like a door that hasn't closed. As you can see just there. And this is where I start to make the corridor. I add it here, and then I'm thinking of different bits to add. And then I start to add the window caps. These are good because it just makes the thing not look nice. And that's what I like about the Forge Impact items. Because you can have everything built together and compact. And plus it doesn't look bulky and out of place on the map so I start adding these around everywhere and then that's another one of the doors that you could add I didn't want to add any of the doors on the outside apart from my corridor because I only wanted people to be able to get in and out one way like it would be a real space station now what I do I think I did leave one or two areas open just for forge so I could go in but that's basically just there is the corridor that I make zero gravity and then outside I do a huge area of zero gravity as well so you think you know you're rarely in space and now I go around here and I've, I've this is basically you know your structure for the base I go in and this will be the long corridor that will be zero gravity and at each end there'll be like one of those screen doors that you have to whack down so it'll feel like it's airtight and then we come up here and you can have like a mini lab, you can have uh, those lights from Dominion shining on the rock and having a look at things and little tables and computers set up from Dominion as well. And then I go back down onto the right hand corridor and then you can have more things in the corner there and I've just opened that up so I'll be able to move forge objects inside more easily. And then here is going to be my main command centre where I've got all the tech, all the computers. And then right up here is where I'm going to have my weapons. So I'm going to, I've got um, not my own, but what I've seen from other people make, I can make sort of like an ammo box like you have in the campaign when you go and there's weapons stacked up. So yeah, basically that's my foundation of the base. I had more stuff in episode two. Thanks for watching.